Hello everybody, Noah here with Learn Meta Analysis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install R, how to install R Studio, and last but not least, how to get simple meta analysis running on your local computer rather than on the Shiny App website. So let's go ahead and get started. There's three steps here that we're going to do, all of them very simple. So the first one we're going to do is install R, and I like to start at the posit.co website, which is the home of R Studio. And the reason I like this is because they have nice big buttons here for us to go download this, and the link to this website will be in the description. So we simply go to download and install R. You can see I'm on a Windows machine here, so I have already clicked at one point this download R for Windows. And then here, it's, I know this, this doesn't necessarily look like the prettiest website, but it's all pretty simple. It has nice descriptions of what you need. So binaries for base distribution, you may not know what that means, but that's okay, because right next to it, it says this is what you need to install R for the first time. So if you are installing R for the first time, all you have to do is click either base or install R for the first time, and it will bring you to this site. And here, you can just click the first button to download R for Windows, and that's gonna automatically start the download for you. Okay, so once you download R, I'm not going to walk you through the installation process. I'm under the assumption that you know how to install software after it downloads on your computer. Um, once you do that, we're going to go download R Studio. So we're back to the posit.co website. All we got to do is click R Studio Desktop for Windows, and it's going to download that, and you can go ahead and install it. So once you install R Studio and you launch it for the first time, it's probably going to look something like this. So how do we get from this to simple meta-analysis software? Well, it's actually pretty easy, so let me show you how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the GitHub site, and there's going to be a link to this page here, which is some code, right? So all we got to do is highlight and copy paste this code. So we're going to highlight that, and we are going to paste it into our document. Then you want to save this document. It doesn't matter where you save it. Wherever makes sense to you is great. But what do we do with it now? We have this document here. What does it say? It says how to use it. First, highlight all of the code. So all we do is hit Control A because I'm on a PC. Then all I have to do is click Run App. And it says what's going to happen is it is going to refer back to GitHub and it's going to look at my Run App function. Now what that does is that tells the that tells our studio that it needs to install packages that simple meta analysis needs to run. If the packages are already there, then it doesn't install them again. It might update them, but it doesn't install them again. Then it's going to load those packages that you just installed, and then it's going to launch simple meta-analysis. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to hit run, and you can see it built everything and launched simple meta-analysis here on my local machine. Only And the only thing I had to do was run this little piece of code. And to do that, again, all I had to do was copy-paste, and then we're done. And so here, this is fully functional. Um, everything will work the same way it does on the Shiny App website. The only thing that doesn't work 100% properly when you run it on your local machine are web links. So for example, if we go down here, I have a video walkthrough on YouTube of some validating um, the code behind simple meta-analysis against metaphor in R. So that's really the only uh, negative of running the app locally rather than running the app through the Shiny App website. Um, to be honest, anytime I use it, I run it locally. Uh, simply because I find it easier than navigating to the Shiny App site. So that said, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video, and I hope you've seen how simple it is. Uh, in the future, once you uh, once you have R installed, once you have R Studio installed, all you need to do to run simple meta analysis is simply open up this code file, highlight everything, and hit run. And it's going to go through that same process to update or install those packages, load those packages, and then run the software for you. So, all right, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy the software.